I'm Marlene. Welcome to the recommendation station. Today we're going to take a look at miso soup and how to make it with the most delicious flavours. I like to make my dashi from scratch. Dashi stock is simply the delicious earthy flavour you get by using two simple ingredients. Kombu seaweed and dried shiitake mushrooms. We soak them 15 minutes, remove the shiitakes dice them into fine slices and then pop them back in the pan, simmer for about 15 minutes. The kombu will reconstitute itself to its original size, releasing the beautiful glutamic taste. So that's what gives us a lovely flavour for using it in soups, stews, casseroles, risottos. So it's something that you can use every day from your fridge. I tend to make them and keep them in glass jars in the fridge so I always have some dashi at hand when I want to create a delicious um, meal. So we'll get started. Now you'll be able to see the dashi has been simmering for 15 minutes. The kombu reconstitutes itself and comes back to its original size whilst releasing the beautiful glutamate which is the gorgeous taste that you'll find that you don't really get in any other soups except when you make it with dashi. Now the shiitake mushroom after having soaked it I diced it um, it's maybe possible for you to see here it's been simmering for 15 minutes along with the kombu now I'm going to add some cubed tofu you can use all sorts of variances with this soup, but I'm just making a very simple one today. And a small piece of wakami seaweed, which I soaked and just chopped into bite-sized pieces. So we're adding that to the soup. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer. So the tofu and the wakami have now been added to the dashi. And I'm just going to turn the flame down and simmer that for five minutes. Now we're ready to add the miso. This is the easiest way I find to do it. Simply take one heaped teaspoon per cup of soup into a small mesh sieve and either using a spoon or I'm using the, the surikogi from the, the surabachi that I use and it's simply just grinding down until the paste is completely dissolved and it's much easier than having to scoop out some of the, the dashi stock less washing up as I see. So diffusing as it parts in the water, it's almost like parting of the clouds. I love to, to see this happening. It's just so fantastic, beautiful colour. I'm just going to add some spring onions and gently simmer just half a minute or so. It's very important not to boil the miso because you will destroy the live microorganisms um, and that's where we get the incredible beneficial um, active bacteria that helps with digestion so it's important that you really take care and don't boil it. So half a minute or so and it's ready to be switched off. And the good news is you can bulk the soup out to more of a meal if you prefer. My husband Bill, he adores udon and soba noodles so that's something that I always have in his miso soup. Very easy to cook which I'll explain to you in just a second or two. So pop the noodles in at the bottom, some beautiful miso soup on top, you'll see the wakame, the tofu, some spring onions and hey presto. And again you can make this to whatever your own heart desires. I adore ginger so I always have some freshly grated ginger juice and I just squeeze a little bit of ginger juice on the top and then we each have a bowl that we absolutely love. This is something we have every day. So tofu that we have in the soup already, any cooked grain or noodle. This is the udon that I added to the soup that Bill loves also along with soba. Um, you can also incorporate any seasonal vegetable. Fresh ginger juice as I showed you. Just, you know, be creative with the soup. You can make it into almost like a stew. The whole grain is perfect. We always have brown rice in the fridge, so if I feel like I want something more substantial, I'll add some whole grain. 
some millet or quinoa and it bulks the soup out into more of a meal. And just as wakame is a wonderful sea vegetable to use, the shredded nori for me looks so pretty and beautiful because of the rich black colour. So I like to decorate the top of my soup. It just sort of starts to curl in with the heat of the, the soup and just finishes the bowl to perfection. So just to recap, there's so many different misos that you can purchase. You can have a white sweet tasting miso, which is much more mellow tasting, through to the darker, longer aged misos, which are much more saltier. So be careful and, you know, just adjust the seasoning to your own, your own taste. And one more word on wakame for us ladies. You know, we all love to have great looking skin. Wakame actually has a substance that inhibits the breakdown of collagen. So not only is it delicious tasting and great for your health, it's great for your skin. So get on board, have some miso soup every day and enjoy. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.